Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast for the week of March 8th through the 14th of 2021. All right, so very simple week, but very important week astrologically. Um, essentially, what we have is a new moon at the end of the week on Saturday. And so as we do approach the weekend, it is the ending phase of the current cycle. Uh, it is good to tie up some loose ends, complete some things, and release some things uh, to make space for the new beginnings around the corner. Now, the new moon will be in Pisces, so this is a very watery time. We'll probably start to feel this energy around Wednesday. On Wednesday, the sun is going to start to go into Pisces and pass over Neptune, the ruler of Pisces. And so gearing up for what will be this time of essentially bringing more receptivity into our life and connecting to things like our intuition, uh, reestablishing our connection to our unconscious or spiritual selves, and uh, really cultivating our dreams and ideals as well, while at the same time surrendering what's outside of our control and finding peace in our everyday experiences. So that's really the theme this week as we do approach that kind of watery energy and then, then at the end of the week, there is that new moon suggesting a new lunar cycle, which will be about the next month and a half regarding cultivating this receptive energy. All right, so let's go and take a look at this as well as some of the other transits that we have here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for this week. We're going to look at this for each day of the week, starting first with Monday. Um, and this can be Monday, March 8th through uh, Sunday, March 14th of 2021. And as you can see here, we are using the visible sky, which is very different from mainstream astrology. If you do hear a lot of the signs that I'm mentioning are different from mainstream astrology, uh, definitely check out that link down below for more information. Uh, basically, in mainstream, they're not using the visible sky. And so the signs are different between their system and this system. So again, if you're new, check it out. Um, but uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so let's start first with just a general recap. Where is everything astrologically right now at the moment? coming into Monday. And we do have still quite a bit of energy in Aquarius. The sun will be finishing the transit here of Aquarius these first uh, couple days of the week. Venus is still here until the end of the week on Saturday. And so the focus still is, I think, on future visions, um, cultivating our aspirations, perhaps, and maybe being a part of something greater than ourself, whether it's our own future aspirations or collective things, which could be great for still groups, maybe friends, maybe online community related stuff or innovative and technological stuff as well. So this is great this first couple days um, with that focus. Also, we do have Mercury uh, still in Capricorn up until Saturday at the weekend, uh, where our minds are still quite grounded. And I think it's still good to be thinking about things in terms of the long term, right? What do we want to accomplish? Maybe what, what do we want to achieve? Um, this really is the major theme of the year uh, with both Saturn and Jupiter here in Capricorn. And uh, Mars is in Taurus all week, so uh, which, will, which will be continuing for the upcoming month plus. Um, with Mars in Taurus, it's good to take some action and initiative in a way that's slow and steady, right? Mars is our more assertive, active side, and Taurus is the bull, right? Taking things one step at a time, stopping to smell the roses, and uh, just making sure we are taking one step before taking the next step, right? And in this way, it can be a very constructive time um, to you know move things forward that do require more of that steady, resourceful, and even self-reliant side of ourselves. All right, so let's go and take a look here, starting with Monday. Uh, here's a quick peek at the transits or the aspects that you can see here, all very straightforward. Uh, the sun passing over Neptune on Wednesday, Venus uh, over the weekend with the new moon. But let's break this down for each day of the week, starting first with Monday. So Monday, the moon will still be in Sagittarius. So as a backdrop to the day, it's still good to be expanding our horizons. Uh, this could be good for seeing potentials, opportunities, maybe accessing a bit of our free-spirited nature, which was the case uh, around Sunday as well. Um, so that's good on Monday. No major aspects on Monday. Um, as we do go through the rest of the week, as we approach the weekend, again, keeping in mind it is the ending phase of the cycle. So we will load likely notice a little bit of the dying down of energy, which makes it good for completing things and finalizing things pretty much all week up until Saturday to finalize this uh, current lunar month. <clears throat> and this um, starts to shift here on Tuesday with the moon in Capricorn. 
both Tuesday and Wednesday. So that theme around accomplishment and achievement will probably be heightened around Tuesday and Wednesday. At least it's still a really good time to do that, right? Uh, think long term. Anything that does re require responsibility or patience or discipline uh, could be great to incorporate Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, but Wednesday is really when we start to feel these shifts of that watery energy. So the sun does start to go into Pisces. And because Neptune is just now entering Pisces, uh, this part of the year, uh, this is where the shift will likely be. So this is a shift of focus for the next month plus on Pisces the fish, the constellation of the fish. And so this is the side of ourself that is attuned to the receptive and spiritual and even unconscious elements of life. It's almost like going to sea, right? We're going into the sea. And so things can be uncertain, this isn't necessarily a, a challenging transit for Neptune to be here. The sun's a little uncomfortable here, but this does happen every year. So nothing particularly challenging about this. But because we are at sea, it can sometimes, you know, really bring up the importance of being receptive. And if there is anything that is uncertain, anything that um, does seem like, you know, we're confused about or lost at sea about, it is really good to listen, right? If we're, in, if we're at sea, it's good to float or it's good to use the, the winds, the currents, right, to help guide us. And this is what Pisces, I would say, is about, is trusting our intuition, right? Also having faith and trust in the divine process of things, right? And getting more in contact with our unconscious or our spiritual selves where the clarity can be derived from, right? So not necessarily conscious or practical or tangible clarity, mental, like in the practical sense, but definitely intuitively, right? Can be a great time for this. Very supportive for all types of spiritual activities, meditation, yoga, whatever it might be, to help us reconnect with our unconscious, to reconnect with our spiritual selves. And also, you know, creativity as well. It's a great time of getting in touch with our imagination. So anything that is a creative art or something that does involve channeling, you know, for example, music is channeling sort of um, vibrations and energy, anything like this, very supportive for this time period. All right, so that's going to be the shift there and that shift of focus. And what I would say as well is with Neptune, you know, entering into Pisces, which will be for a multi-decade transit here, this is a shift of the collective as well. And this is now starting to get activated where this part of the year, um, we're probably going to notice more dreams, more ideals, right? It's more of the dreamy, watery, imaginative energy coming about. And so in our personal lives, I think it's really good to listen to those dreams and ideals, right? This could even be a nice shift in the right direction for a lot of us in regards to dreams and ideals. And in fact, if you do want to see which area this is happening for you, uh, down below is a link to the birth chart calculator using this system. And if you just check to see which house the beginning of Pisces is in, this will tell you which area of life this is happening for you. But collectively for everyone, yes, really good time of following any dreams, any ideals, maybe noticing some of them coming to fruition is very possible for a lot of us. But at the same time, working with uncertainty and surrendering what's outside of our control, right? And in this way, ebbing and flowing in life, right? And helping it guide us and trusting our intuition, right? And just bringing in fundamentally, bringing more peace into our life. This is a time of now incorporating more receptivity, more peace, making peace with things, accepting things, right? Tranquility, spirituality, you know, doing things important to us on a soul level. It's a great time to listen to our soul and cultivate those things important on a soul level. So anyways, lots of energy around this, and this is going to be the energy around the new moon as well, where I think it'll really get activated, uh, which will be on Saturday, starting basically the new lunar month, but even the like I said, multi-year transit of Neptune. So it'll be the first new moon with Neptune officially in Pisces, starting this kind of energy now moving forward, both in the short term and the long term. Okay. Um, I do want to say, of course, as we do approach Saturday, so this sort of, um, you know, Thursday, Friday time period, the moon will be in Aquarius. So again, wrapping up anything from the previous cycle, specifically pertaining to visions or aspirations or collective matters, could be good to finalize there with that. But yeah, give it some time. New beginnings, Saturday, it's a time of listening. It is the lowest energy phase of lunar cycle. Allow for some new things to go into next week. Again, all about incorporating more of this Piscean and Neptunian side of, our, of ourselves. I do want to mention that Venus is going to be very close to this new moon and starting to enter Pisces over the weekend as well. 
And so a lot of this could maybe have to do with maybe relational stuff, maybe partnerships, agreements, things like this for some of us. But fundamentally, it's about our values. I think we're going to start to value more of this soul guided stuff, spiritual stuff, receptive stuff, creative stuff. We may even notice more of this energy coming into our relationships, right? More, um, you know, unconditional, more accepting, right? More receptive in our relationships. So there is this both new beginning with how we view other and our values of other, but fundamentally our values of life starting to get into more of that soul guided stuff. So very important week, as you can see, very simple week, but very important uh, with these transits. All right. And then uh, I do want to mention as well, Mercury will be going into Aquarius over the weekend. And so uh, our minds will be coming out of more of the uh, achievement oriented side and more into the visionary side. So it'll be great going into next week to start to think about future aspirations, all the stuff we've probably already been focused on with Aquarius, but now starting to think about it in terms of vision, thinking outside the box, very innovative mind, very future oriented mind, um, still in, uh, in orb there. All right, everyone, but uh, fundamentally, yep, ending of the week of the lunar cycle, gearing it for a whole new lunar month around Pisces, the fish and Neptune entering this constellation with Venus very close by. So good to be receptive, see what new comes out of this and great to set any intentions around these things going into next week. All right, so everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more videos like this one. And you can also click the notification bell down below to be notified of when these videos are released. But uh, yeah, thank you again for all of your support and I'll see you all next time for the next weekly forecast. Take care.